Hi there booktube, it's Eleanor here. Now today I'm doing something a bit different for me but I recently went to the theatre with my daughter and while we were waiting to go in we were in a, a place that we hadn't been to before and there was a bookshop and it looked very new and intriguing and so we went and had a look round and as I was looking round this beautiful bookshop which you will see in a moment it really made me think about what it is that makes a really great independent bookshop. Uh, we're all used to going into Waterstones, knowing how it's meant to look um, and knowing our expectations, but uh, I just wanted, it made me think about the things that I like in a bookshop. What makes bookshopping in the physical form a really good um, experience for me? So the first thing is, I think, that I like it to feel spacious. I'm not one of those people that wants to be crammed into a bookshop in tight little spaces, in tight little nooks. I know that a lot of people do, but I like something very open feeling, um, that you can you feel like you can breathe, you feel like the books can breathe. I like something bright, and this bookshop is... Uh, probably the fa my favourite bookshop I've ever been in. I'm definitely going to be going back. It's got a beautiful coffee area um, and it's also brilliant white all the way through. The books are really lovely spaced out. It's got a really beautiful children's area. Matilda loved going through the children's area. It's um, got a little secret um, doorway for her to walk through to get into the children's area. There was a really nice clean toilet in there which was great you know if she needed to go while we were in there we didn't have to dash somewhere else to come back. The books were really beautifully spaced out and because the area in the children's area especially had sort of bean bags and things on the floor as well it meant that she could sort of sit there and just have a look at a book while I was browsing to see if there was anything we wanted to pick up. They had some really nice children's book related toys which I was really impressed with and ones I hadn't seen before so I was really excited about those and in fact I ended up picking one up and I really loved how the um, whole place had really got into the spirit of Halloween. They'd really decorated, but they decorated very classily, very prettily, with some spiders and some sparkles and some cobwebs and brooms. And Matilda loved exploring and finding the little um, quirky bits of Halloween. They'd done specific displays for Halloween type books. Um, and instead of having um, sort of plastic things that clip onto the shelves to tell you, you know, what section you're in, whether this is film and TV or fiction or crime. Um, they'd painted using blackboard paint on top of the shelves and then written on it which gives me the impression that if they wanted to change it in the future they could just move things around and repaint it and I and there was nothing popping off of the shelves it was all very clean there was no um, you know things that could fall off or pop off or make it look um, untidy it was a uh, just a beautiful bookshop it was all uh, black and white and very bright and plenty of windows at the front and I was just really impressed and so I wanted to share it with you guys I wanted to tell you more about it and I just wanted to ask you what is it that makes bookshopping a pleasant experience for you it's changed for me as I've got older definitely now a space where Matilda can be happy too is important because often I am shopping with her um, and as I say something bright and clean and airy I really like um, light colours I like somewhere where I can sit and have a coffee I like to pick up lots of books and then decide if I'm going to pick them all up or maybe a couple and the staff in there was so lovely that I'll definitely be going back and they hold events as well which I thought was a really good touch I love it when a bookshop has events on and yeah I just really liked this bookshop so I wanted to throw it out to you let's chat in the comments what makes a really good bookshop for you? Are you somebody that really prefers um, sort of a tiny little cubby hole um, type bookshop? Do you like somewhere where you have to delve through piles of things? Do you prefer when things aren't laid out alphabetically or really planned out? I think it just... Um, 
the reason that this bookshop sings to me is because I'm hyper organised, I really like everything in its place, I really like it when things are organised and structured, it makes me feel calm um, and so often that's why I only shop in a few second hand bookshops that I really know quite well because the haphazardness often can make me feel a bit anxious. Um, so I just really loved it, it was beautifully turned out and as I say just had everything that I really like in a bookshop. Anyway, let me know what you like in a bookshop and yeah, if I see any other bookshops that really appeal to me, maybe I'll make another video in the future. But for now, I hope you've enjoyed this. I hope you've enjoyed having a little look um, and uh, I'll let Matilda give you the final word on what she really enjoyed uh, while she was in there. Well, it was so tasty. Mm -hmm. What's your biscuit like? Great, so Mmm, oh, that sounds like a good biscuit. Anyway, that's it from me. Bye for now, BookTube!